Hi, welcome to another video of Multitrack Cassette Fans. My name is Dennis and this video is a tutorial about how to record, bounce and mix down a song on this little thing. It's the Vestex MR200 Mark II. Uh, this time I'm not going through all the details of this uh, recorder. Uh, I've already made a, a repair video about this, uh, this one. So um, if you uh, if you like to see that, check that video out. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, record something. The song I'm recording in this video is Super Freak by Rick James. Let's see if this thing can handle the groove. First, first you switch on your recorder. Notice how uh, how nice the uh, the LEDs are uh, are lighting up. I'll show it again. I love to see that. Um, put down your phones knob. And then plug your earphones, your headphones into the phones connector. And then turn it up to about uh, six. Now, as always, I've uh, I've prepared a drum track in, um, in GarageBand. And I'm, um, I'm inserting the, uh, the output of GarageBand into input one. Then I uh, arm track one to record mode. And then I turn up the master to about seven. Now I'll hit play on the on the drum machine. And now we can slowly pull up this one, input one. There's our sound. Some uh, you can see some peaks are uh, are being held when the when the level is above uh, the sound is above a, a certain level. It keeps it keeps the the highest level for uh, for a second. Okay, so I'll I hit pause and record and play at the same time. Um, input one should be uh, recording on uh, on track one. I'm resetting the tape counter <coughs> for best quality. The, the tape speed selector is uh, is switched to high, and I've for the for the level of the drums, I have um, I'm making sure it doesn't go all the way to the to this uh, to this to the highest point. So this should be uh, sh this should be enough. Let's have a test run. So we're uh, recording now. I'm hitting play again. Okay, let's let's rewind to zero. I, I noticed there's not a, a zero return option on this machine. Once you get uh, used that, to that on uh, other recorders, you uh, you really miss it when it's not there. Okay, let's have a let's have a listen to um, to the track we just recorded. Uh, these are all the, the track levels. These are the pannings. That's an old Prince bootleg. Maybe it can be a, it could be a little louder. I guess this tape isn't doing too well either. Let's record it again with a, with a little more, uh, with a little higher uh, level.
where we can uh, we can add a, add a little high. I'll hit uh, rewind for uh, for a couple of counts. That sounds a little better. Okay, I'm rewinding to zero now. I'll hit record and I'll hit play on the on the drum uh, on the drum machine, and I'll have it uh, run a couple of bars. So we uh, we just need the intro of the of the song. Now we're going to record our bass guitar. Record function of track one can be switched off. And now we're going to record onto track two. So for the bass, I will uh, fire up my bass guitar amp and uh, put a microphone in front of it. For recording my bass, I'll put a Sennheiser bass drum microphone in front of my uh, bass guitar amp. This is a Sennheiser E602, specially designed for low-end uh, sound sources. Now we want to record on uh, track two, so we should uh, arm this track recording function um, it's on the track 2 is on the right bus so everything that's on, on in the mixer is on the right channel um, will be recorded onto track 2 so now we have to switch from input 1 to input 2 no sound coming in that's because we have to turn our trim from line to microphone level there it is I'll turn it all the way up that's too much a little less okay let's give it a try the the playback of uh, track one must be any anywhere between five and ten. That's it. I'm using the first bar as a count in. That's that sounds okay. Okay, now it's uh, time for some piano sound. Our piano sound will be coming from uh, GarageBand. Unfortunately, I don't have a real piano, so um, we'll have to do with a digital digital one. I'm putting this into the left input. And line uh, line level will be just fine. Let's have some uh, some sound testing. Now I have my piano sound ready from GarageBand. 
let's let's do a test a recording Let's hear how that sounds. Turn up level three. There's not too much high in the in the piano sound, but I. I think in the in the end mix it worked really really well. It doesn't it doesn't have to be all Not every track has to be all crisp and all full. Uh, you, you you only have four tracks. So um uh every track should cover its own uh frequency uh frequency band in the in the whole spectrum um, okay I think uh, I think our uh, piano sounds uh, sounds okay so let's mix those uh, three tracks uh, to track four I mean this track four so we have three tracks free for new for new recordings <laughs> 